In this first video, let's install some packages and some software that we're going to need. First off, what we want to do, uh, we want to update the Pacman packages. So sudo pacman you. Oh, wants my password, okay. There's nothing to do, I've done this previously, it might take a little bit longer uh, for you. And then uh, we want to install uh, the snap repository. So uh, sudo pacman s snap t. It's going to take a while. I might just pause the video and come back once it's finished. So now it has finished. At this point, we want to enable the snap repository. sudo system control enable enable now and snap the dot socket. Okay. And then we need to create a symlink. So the command for it is n dash s for lib snap t slash snap and we want to assign it to snap. So now it's done, we should be able to use our snap repository. Now, if you want to install Visual Studio Code, technically we're able to do just that. So, VS um, Code Snap, not logged in, of course. So it says that if you want to install Visual Studio Code uh, through Snap, then this is what you need to do install. There you go, just like this. Let's go back and do it. It's gonna take a little while. If it takes too long, I might just pause the video again and come back once it's finished. Um, so we're installing Visual Studio Code um, for any kind of code or file editing that we might want to do. Okay, so Visual Studio Code has finished downloading. Let's check it's, if it's there. So. Visual Studio Code indeed has been installed. So then we're going to install Docker on this machine and that is pretty much all we need. So we're not gonna install Apache or MySQL or PHP or NPM or Composer, anything like this. All we need is Docker. The reason for it is we're gonna create a Docker file and a Docker Composer uh, .yaml file that will manage uh, Docker images that will be pulled down uh, to this machine and can be used to run uh, Apache server, uh, Composer, and um, anything else we need to support our application. And so for now, all we need is Docker to manage our containers. So let's install Docker through Pacman. I'm just going to type this command here. So sudo pacman as docker yes so again uh, it's gonna take a little while to download so I'm just gonna pause the video and come back once it's finished okay so docker has finished downloading but it's not working just yet we need to enable the docker service and start the docker service so um, the comments for that are sudo system control CTL. Uh, start docker dot service and then we need to enable as well so that would auto start there you go there's one thing we need to do docker has created a group and our user needs to be in this group the command is user mod so we're going to add add to this group, docker, and our current user. Now it's going to work properly. And the next thing is to install docker compose. These two things aren't interchangeable. So docker compose is a separate application. The way to install it is pretty similar to all the others. 
Sudo, Backman, and Docker, Compose. Yes. One more time, it's going to take a little while. I might just speed up the video. Well, actually, it was quite quick. And now we need to reboot this machine, and uh, we're going to continue in the next video. See you there.